Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Jenkins Boat Works. I am Chuck Jenkins. In this video, we are going to continue working on our Snark sailboat project. And we're gonna work on fairing the hull. I will use a two-part epoxy fairing compound from Total Boat uh, called Total Fair. And I have used this product on multiple projects in the past and it lends itself very well to our needs uh, in this particular project. Um, if you're coming back, we're super glad you're here. If you are new to the channel, welcome. And I would invite uh, everyone to dig around in the channel and, and see what other videos you might find of interest. Over the years, we've done multiple boat projects and there are literally hundreds of, of videos on the channel. And if you decide you like what you see, um, would you consider subscribing? That does help out the channel greatly. And uh, if you do subscribe, you can click the, a little bell down there that will get you notifications on future videos. And we have a lot more coming. So um, anyway, we're gonna use this Total Fair product. It's a two-part epoxy. And uh, go to totalboat.com and look at all the other products they have. They are actually a part of Jamestown Distributors. If you find that you wanna order uh, some supplies from Total Boat, we will put a promo code in the video description. And I believe you get a one-time 10% uh, discount on your order. So look for that down in the description. All right, well, we're glad you're here. Let's jump in and see what kind of progress we can make today. Hi, Toby. How's the shop dog? You look like you're getting tired. <laughs> All right, so we kind of sanded in here. Something I'm noticing is where this uh, yellow plastic was over this. Obviously, this has been protected and it's much nicer. There's a ridge right here where the plastic ended. So we've got a lot of fairing to do. There's moon craters in this thing still. But uh, where we started out with filling with this foam, uh, we got the big holes filled in. That's gonna take a fair bit of fairing compound to smooth that out. It's coming. It's gonna be easy to do. It's just a little hull. <laughs> I remember doing the sanding on the Haven. That took forever. I ordered more of this uh, total, total fare from Total Boat. I've had these two little containers for a really long time, um, but I wanna do just a small test on this fiber or on the styrofoam. So I'm going to try to mix some up and you can see there's not a ton left in there. You just got your blue and your yellow and you just mix equal parts till it turns green. And uh, we'll take it over there and see what happens when we put it on the styrofoam. I just mix it up like on a little piece of plywood. I'm just gonna get a couple little even dabs. Mix that together real good. Don't want to see any yellow and I don't want to see any blue. All I want to see is green. We used this stuff when we fared the, the Haven sailboat and uh, it worked great. It worked even good on the, on the lead keel. It's nice stuff. It sands easy, it goes on easy. It's easy to mix up. All right. You want to make sure you got it mixed up good so that it goes off and works. 
All right. Well, we'll go over the boat, pull a little on there, and see what happens. All right, we're just going to test this stuff to see how we do here. I'm just going to put a little bit on, say right here. It adheres nicely. And there's a big hole right there. Let's fill in that. Looks like it's gonna be fine. Big holes right there. Now I'm going over some of this spray foam as well as the styrofoam. I wanna see what happens. Hope I'm not getting ready to send this thing to the dumpster. I guess if it starts smoking, we'll know, huh? <laughs> I believe that's going to fill those holes in. So that's a good test area. We're on the styrofoam itself, just the original boat hole, and we're also on some of this spray foam that I put in there. So uh, we'll just let that set up and see how we do. If it works as good as I think. Uh, we'll just do pretty much the whole, the whole thing and sand it, and then we'll be ready to fiberglass it. Okay, so we got some new Total Fair in from Total Boat. Uh, Total Boat is a part of Jamestown Distributors, and uh, we've used this before. Now, I had these ones here, but uh, that's a smaller container, and I, I've used that up. And so, anyway, I'm glad to get the, this uh, new product in. So, uh, I believe that we've got a... Uh, discount code if you're interested in using this stuff and we will link that in the in the description of the video so if you want to order it and use it uh, look for that okay so i'm just going to start filling in these places and uh, i don't expect to get this all done in one go we're going to have to mix up several batches of this and um I'm just going to try to fill in the biggest craters tonight. Kind of push and pull. Push, pull. You can see how it just fills right in there. Just kind of pushing it right in those cracks and holes. Just want to pull out of there a little bit. That's a really deep one that big hole right there I like the consistency of it it's kind of like a spackling I guess I need a beret I've got my palette I'm a French artist little pinholes filled and I want to get enough on here to make it smooth but at the same time you got to make sure you get it smoothed off of there too because then it's just that much more to sand although 
Uh, this is very easy to sand, say compared to, to epoxy. Um, so all the same, the smoother I get it now, the less sanding I got to do later. Got more of the total boat fare on here. We filled in a lot of the holes and craters. And there's still more to do. You see how rough that is there. Some of the places that are really deep, there's a bad place on the transom back here. You can see here how it just didn't fill all the way. And just go back over that and, and put a little bit more on there. Just going to try to put a thin coat over the whole thing once we get the holes and the craters filled in. That way we're not just sanding on styrofoam. Got plenty of help today. Hey, hi Toby. Hello. Are you a good dog? You're a little terrorist. All right. We have got the total boat, total fare, put on the entire hull. We filled in all the little divots and cracks. You may remember that the front of this that was still underneath the plastic was really in very good shape, but it had a few dimples in it. So we've put on enough to cover up those dimples and I kind of went maybe overboard with putting this total fare on here because quite honestly, I'm a little nervous about sanding uh, too much of the foam. So we've got a pretty nice fair area up here where the dagger board goes through. Uh-oh. And transom looks good. Really is a nice little shape. I see you've grabbed the sandpaper. Is that a hint that I need to start sanding? Give me that. All right, so we've got about 60 degrees out today and it feels delightful. And so I thought, I'll just bring this out here to do some sanding. Nice to be outside. And don't get dust all in the shop. I got a dust collector hose, but I didn't bring it out. I'm just letting it blow. So, and I'm wearing a mask. We got the, our fairing compound on here. And so I'm taking 80 grit with the orbital sander and uh, just trying to knock down these high spots. And I do believe I'm gonna have to come back over it and, and re-ferret. Once I get the high spots knocked off, I'll really be able to see where some of the lower spots are, but um, it's nice to be outside. All right. You get to watch me sand. <laughs> I'm changing paper off and this is the 80 grit. There's places where I still just had foam exposed. I do not want the power sander and 80 grit getting into that. It will tear that up in a hurry. So I'm concentrating on where I've got the fairing compound on and pretty thick. 
and we're getting it knocked down. I'm finding out that I didn't do such a great job of getting it smoothed out when I was putting it on there. See all those little cracks and crevices and craters? It's okay. Um, I think we'll probably get all the high spots knocked off. And then we'll probably go back in with some fairing compound and redo some of it. Um, just places where it's where there's divots in it. So anyway, we're probably gonna have 12, 20 hours, something like that in sanding on this. We want to get it pretty smooth before we go putting the fiberglass on. So, I don't know, it's looking better than it did. If you like the video, remember to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.